uh, your uh, you have purchased a new hardware and uh, uh, you have just uh, thrown out the receipt or the box of the hardware that you have brought. Uh, not now or it can be also later on after the warranty has passed of that specific object but your company is still using it and if the hacker goes into your dumpster saying that hey I am this is guy from this company I have to, to uh, collect your garbage and if he searches your company and if he finds that okay this is the package that means this company has these kinds of hardware so what he may do the next day he may just uh, go ahead and uh, wear a getup that looks similar to uh, high T hardware of the same person of that company uh, the companies whose hardware you have brought he may just come to your uh, company stating that okay I am this is guy from this this company and uh, I, I was given a call stating that your network or your hardware has some issues so and you may even let uh, him inside your company you won't even ask him twice because uh, people are not that secure in uh, terms of going ahead and searching or asking someone else whether you are real or not. So when you come in a, a person dressed in uh, with a uh, name of a, or tag of with a company's name on your shirt, they will just let you inside and you can just go and talk to the IT guy, let him know that these are the issues that I was called for. Just fake it out anything with the basic knowledge of IT. Just go ahead and attach a keylogger and everything that you have inside the computer will be accessed by the hacker he, he won't even need to install a software key logger he can even just use a hardware key logger and you may not even be able to see if his hands are quick quite fast enough so that's how dumpster driving can be dangerous so these all things are uh, come inside social engineering and though footprinting to social engineering networking sites sound similar to social engineering there are some differences between the two methods. Attackers can even use social networking sites as a medium to form social engineering attacks. And I'll show you how uh, using Kali Linux. So I'll just show you an example quickly. So I have this SE toolkit on. I'll use website attack printers and fringe harvest method. I'll show you what exactly I'm doing later on. And let me check my companies. I'll be explaining this later on. So this is my IP address, I'll just copy and I'll just paste and it's asking me the URL to phone. Let's say for example, I'll be using a Facebook, a random profile that I have. So I'll just use a random fake Gmail that I have. So I'll just type Gmail. Okay, let it start. Perfect. So I'll just copy all of this and I'll just paste it over here. And I'll hit enter. So what it is doing exactly is that it is creating a fake phishing account that you could go ahead and send someone. And yes, I want to start the process. And I'll just keep this on and let's say. And what you need to do is just send this IP address to uh, the person of whom you want to hack. So and once you do that, uh, everything he or uh, he will do, uh, you will be able to see that. So I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. Let's say for example, I'm using this different PC over here. I'm this random guy and I'll just type. And what I would be doing, I would be trying to access the Facebook account, uh, sorry, the Gmail account. And uh, so what I need to do is that I just need to send a mail to this person on his email ID stating that due to some reason uh, your account will be deactivated or any random stuff. Uh, so you need to go ahead and log in uh, on this uh, specific IP address to, so that you can go ahead and um, let's say access your account or something like that. You just need to go ahead and social engineer your way through it. And once that guy clicks on that, it will be something like http colon slash slash and I'll just check what was the IP address 192.168.236.92.168.136 sorry 236.130 Let's check. Perfect. So when this guy opens this account, he will see exactly something similar, which is similar to Gmail. And you can see that it has everything. And if I go ahead and try to log in, so I have uh, some random 
account that I'll show you or uh, if let me check if I could go ahead and so what this random guy will do he will just try to go ahead and uh, you know, try to access this website so no and ask me later and it will it won't connect the reason being that I have not yet uh, uh, the password I inserted was a fake one but if I inserted the correct password what will happen is I'll show you over here and as you can see we have the email ID that I used over there and we have the password so this is a way as to how we can go and get information although this password was fake one that I used but if the guy inserted the correct password or whatever his latest password was will be shown over here so this is an example for that and I'll just go ahead and close this and this as well so this is how a social engineering, look like, engineering looks like if you don't knew, know how I did all of these things because it might be a bit, bit quick I'll show you all of these things later on when I come to the total social engineering part of this chapter uh, so social in networking sites are online services 